the St. John's team 9-0, one of nine undefeated teams remaining in the country. Chris Mullen has been doing it on both ends. We've got opponents familiar with one another, state bragging rights on the line, and oh yeah, the ball should be flying out of here. For Illinois, it's now year three under Lovey Smith, and Jay, the question is, what are the expectations this year? Then bring it back out. Wheeler throws the lock. Steven soaring. Shoveled out to Corbin. Makes a man miss. Corbin inside the 30. Did he stay in bounds? Corbin to the end zone for the touchdown. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back punch outs for Big Bo. Schultz trying to finish it off. Curveball again. Ball game over. Minnesota takes the opener. Robbie Mertz gives it to Allen. Onto the right foot. Bends one home. And we are. Bernhardt spaced down the alley. Bernhardt walks in to win it. Pitlick jockeying with Morrison. Tyson scores. Can Hart get there? She can at the table. Wow, Lexi Hart. Jazz Sweet off McGraw. Poked to the corner. Sun ends it. There's Mike Watkins, who only played five minutes in the first half and at times was on the bike on yeah. the sideline for Penn State. And he's a guy that, when he's in and when he's locked in giving big minutes, can make a huge impact on Bashanish Billy. Yeah. Defensively, high percentage finishing inside. There's that action. Lots of guys touching the ball in a short amount of time. Back screens, back cuts. Got to be disciplined. Bajanish Billy with a baseline jumper. Sharing the rock. Wheeler beats the three quarters pressure with speed. Watkins on the block, gets the roll as Jordan went down behind him with a size mismatch. See if that gets him going. Non-factor in the first half for Pat Chambers. And coming off a game at Rutgers on Wednesday when he played his most minutes since last year in the second win over Ohio State. So more than a year ago, 29 minutes on Wednesday. Okay, he's getting physical, man. Not just in the paint, but with the guards on the perimeter as well. Getting chippy. Reeves. His 4-3. Well, he fills up so many columns of the box score for Penn State. Post entry for Bashanish Billy trying to carve out space against Dredd. And now a Penn State foul. Oh, yeah. Tough to be an official in this one right now. It's getting physical. And more importantly, these guys are embracing the physicality. Now this is different than the three-point attempts they took in the first 20 minutes, Mike. They were challenged, they were forced, the spacing wasn't there. There he's trailing, he's stepping into the shot. And how about Georgie? We saw him running the floor on that highlight, stride for stride with Josh Reeves, and now a guy who's been battling a sinus yeah, infection gonna... of sorts the last 10 days to two weeks. This looks like upper respiratory, not an injury per se, just trying to catch his breath, being under the weather and battling through. Tough to quiet or slow him down. Can't tie it up. Offensive rebound off the miss. Tipped away by Reeves. Reeves on the run out with the flush. And you know what? It was a good idea. They were going to go to the pinch post touch pass. Georgie to Dosumu, that back door. But instead, Reeves with the pick. Bajanish Billy couldn't handle it from Williams. Wheeler off the hesitation. Two and a foul. When 
they play their best basketball. Defense into offense. Being aggressive. Both teams are being aggressive right now with their ball pressure. And it's energized this crowd and woken this team up. That's a strong move. Taking the hit and finishing at the other end was Wheeler. What a good sign for him to get himself right back into the ball game when he turned that left ankle earlier. He is not a good free throw shooter, but he does cash in back into the game late in the first half, out there to begin the second, and it's a six-point Penn State lead, as large as it's been for the Nittany Lions. Wheeler tips it away. We gotta love this right now. Got ourselves a six-point ball game, 16 minutes left in the regular season before the conference tournament. We got some trash talking going on, some physical play inside. Quick trigger. Back hired from Lamar Stevens. Desumu hangs on to it. Driving on Dredd. And the follow. De La Rosa fired up. Wheeler. Turns it over. Look out. Desumu. Raise it in. Up and down. It's a track beat right now both ways. The best offense for both Penn State and Illinois is getting out and running. It starts with hard defensive stops, defensive stands. Both these teams are atop the Big Ten in the steals department, but it's not just about turning you over. They're scoring off those mistakes and well-earned defense as well. How about the aggressiveness on both of those oh. from Io Desumu? This off is some unsettled situations, pushing picks. The temperature has gone up here inside Bryce Jordan. It's gone up a notch now, energy-wise. Back to a two-point game just over four minutes into the second half. Reeves, a career-high fifth three-point make on senior day. How about that? Also the team leader in assists. We talked about league leader in steals. Could he do any more right now? He nearly got another steal up top. Can Illinois find an answer? Desumu off the ball screen. Now Feliz has it poked away. Dread dives for it. And three left on the shot clock. When we come back to the Bryce Jordan Center. Senior day for Josh Reeves. And all he's done so far is pour in 19 points with five three-point makes here against Illinois on the final day. How about the stop for Reeves? Okay, fans, it's time for me.